Yep, what do I always tell you guys? Coffee is important for you and whatnot, microbiome and whatnot. How come you don't drink coffee on the show? I've been drinking coffee alone since you came. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I don't think uh, coffee is as important as you people say it is. Why? Uh, well, okay, just in general, I don't, I don't just like uh, talking or advising people about what they need to get into their bodies. Yeah. You don't say. You, know, you are one of the my body, my choice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your stance on abortion? <laughs> abortion? Yeah. Well, um, do you think it's? Um, are you for? I know where you're going. Yeah. Um, I believe that if, well, I believe that abortion should be. That it should be a right that uh, is protected. So if mm. someone does not want to have a child, they should be allowed to abort. Okay, mm. interesting. I will not rebut that. But yeah, you I, and also I'm not. I'm not saying that uh, because you know most of the people that want to abort pregnancies, they are unplanned pregnancies, right? Mm. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not encouraging people to do things that they don't plan for or to indulge in themselves in activities that might lead them to a place that they didn't plan for. So I'm not advocating for that. But I'm just saying, because there are a lot of instances, right? Someone maybe, can be maybe raped. Maybe the issue is, uh, actually, less than 1% of abortions are as a result of incest or rape. Oh, okay. Yeah, statistically, anyway. Yeah, anyway, but we also know that that kind of abortion is allowed, right? Yes. Like if someone are... is raped and other things. It, it depends where, I mean, which country, but yeah, there are instances where that kind of abortion is allowed. I guess Leonard Cohen said in a, in a war, there's no safe place to stand. It's a very hard decision in most cases. So maybe the issue is about how did you get pregnant in the first place? Exactly. And I do, as I'm saying, I don't support people's behaviors where they indulge themselves in activities that will put them in a place that they will regret being in. Yeah, yeah. So, but still, I believe, because there are a lot of things, as I said, it could be that someone, people are using protection, but then something happens. Ah, uh, honeybee. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honeybee so you happens. really can't blame those because they even use protection. I mean, mm. yeah. Mm. Because, you know, the other thing is that if we continue bringing children who are sort of unplanned for, yeah. that's also a recipe for another disaster. Yeah, so I mm. believe that uh, someone wants to abort, let them abort. Mm, interesting. I guess there's a, a lot of perspectives to look at it from. Dave Chappelle said, if women are allowed to abort, my body, my choice, then for the men, it should be my money, my choice. You should be allowed to abandon your child. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's another story. <laughs> Who's Dave Chappelle? He's a comedian. Oh, uh, wow, that's comedy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, it's comedy. <laughs> and this is a comedy show. You're welcome to the show. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Make sure, subscribe. Kutinika subscribe. That will make sure that our show is visible and more people can see what you're talking about. Exactly. And drink your coffee in spite of what Chovia says. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want. Yeah, your body, your choice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so the show is available Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays right here on YouTube, uh, 20 hours Central African time. And you can listen to the podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. That's for you guys who prefer video when you're driving, washing, cooking, or what other activities do people do when they are listening to audio podcasts? Whatever you, whatever you may be doing. Yeah, they are bathing. Oh, yeah, bathing. Yeah. Ah, yeah, bathing. I forgot about bathing. Not that I don't bath. Would be rough, by the way. I know, right? It's a, a whole layer of skin that has, <laughs> that has developed. If it wasn't for the hot weather. <laughs> yeah, but this one doesn't bag on a I, I tell you, even I am shocked sometimes that I bath twice. Mm, even myself. <laughs> <laughs> there was a day I almost bathed three times. Huh? I think I uh, bathed three times today because this man has been so So you're so saying hectic. you've already bathed twice? Imagine. Wow. Yeah. On a Monday night. I don't usually bath, guys. It's just that quap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bathing is only admitting that you're dirty. <laughs>
<laughs> I felt a little bit of depth. <laughs> oh, you felt a little bit. Eh? You yeah. had to admit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, let's get into it. Suspected criminals have broken into Lukulu District Hospital mortuary and store assorted equipment, including chemicals used for embalming. That's a bunch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Police Deputy Spokesperson Danny Mwale said the incident happened on October 10th, 2023, between 20 hours and 22 hours in Lukulu District of Western Province. He said police initial investigations revealed that while the hospital security guard and two staff were taking the body to the mortuary around 22.30 hours, they discovered that the mortuary door was open and tempered with. Uh, first case, <laughs> first guess, they are probably using this embalming products for their butchery. Yeah. Do you remember a rumor that once came up some years back that uh, one famous butchery was using embalming products for their beef? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, one well-known. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's... Uh, in relation <laughs> yeah but you know that time i didn't i didn't really look into that uh was it true was there any thread of truth uh well they denied it just like putin denied interfering with Amer american elections <laughs> <laughs> they denied it <laughs> uh, you remember trump he was like hey putin tell them did you interfere no, 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 I did not <laughs> you see he did not he said no <laughs> you don't say yeah. yeah, I mean, why would people uh, break into a mortuary to steal products? What What else? Are they trying to start a private mortuary and they don't have supplies? <laughs> <laughs> or are they trying to secretly... <laughs> but I think we're going to have a lot of I think so. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. What yeah. would you be using embalming products for, even if it was witchcraft? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Mm. What process of witchcraft will you need <laughs> embalming products? Unless, they, oh, maybe the witch doctor told them to preserve the body for a couple of days. <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. But be. the other thing is that you say that uh, they store assorted equipment, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, not not only the, not only the embalming. more lights in the embalming. <laughs> <laughs> they probably store the equipment they use to remove the guts. You know, mm, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when a person dies, when they're doing the post mortem, they 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 open up the brain. They remove the brain, remove the guts. Apparently, when people are embalmed. They remove their guts so they don't rot from inside. Okay, yeah, of course I understand that. Yeah, so that's probably the equipment they they have. So many dead bodies to keep <laughs> fresh. <laughs> <laughs> they did this to the the Malawian president, actually Malawian former president Kamuzu Banda. They did that to Manawasa as well. But I don't oh. think they've done it as long as they've done it for Kamuzu Banda. Kamuzu okay. Banda. I believe maybe even up to today, I don't know. Mm. Malawians would tell us better, but for a good number of years, you could go and you could go and visit him at his. Oh, it was like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So for Manawasa, it was just. Oh, okay. Mm. For Manawasa, it was just for the the, the few days that the, the week that the the body was taken around the country. Yeah, and for the president that died after him, uh, they did the same, except it seems they didn't do a thorough job. So. <laughs> 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 if you're not subscribed, please, please subscribe, hit that bell and share. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, you, you were trying to call me earlier today, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, my phone was really low. This is what has become of my charger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this place doesn't look so familiar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's so <okay. laughs> cute. This is what has become of my charger. <laughs> anyway, we had Neo in the country this past week. Is this you in the country or he's left? I don't know. I think he left yesterday. I don't know. Anyway, I've not followed the 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 neo coming to Zambia. Oh, really? You are. I I thought you would be there. I thought I thought you'd be one of the people in the in the crowd cheering him on. No, to be honest, I would, I would uh, rather pay for Young Chef. Oh, really? Yeah. Where's Where's Chef been, by the way? He's around. I I think he was actually performing at the neo show. He was on the lineup. Oh, he was. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Okay. And. Young Feroz, <laughs> so quickly, already had Neo's slippers. <laughs> this is what we call Boringos. <laughs> I know. Where, where I come from. <laughs> and uh, look at the second one, the brown one. <laughs> this doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that brown, really? I don't know what color. It's like a, a shade of green. 
<laughs> slides like yani wako America. <laughs> and they were going for 150 kwacha. Honestly speaking. Really? Yeah. Okay. Size is 3741. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, you know, I'm just looking at the details now. Okay. Yeah, can can you can you tell that they are slightly localized? Well, I can tell a slight difference, especially the underneath. It, yeah, it I can doesn't, see seem, to, it doesn't seem to have the ridges, eh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's the difference I can tell. What else can you see? Mm, I don't know. They just look fine. Oh, plus ours are Adidas. Are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not see that? <laughs> oh, wow. You're uh, observant, eh? Ours are Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two more, <laughs> two more serious news items. Secretary of the Cabinet Patrick Kangwa has announced that the new Dawn administration's first audit report presents a positive outlook showcasing a substantial decrease in misappropriation of funds from 95.8 million to zero. Mr. Kangwa said the report has recorded a tremendous improvement on audit queries with an almost 100% reduction in misappropriation of funds. He said the report has revealed that the misappropriation of funds stand at 5 million kwacha for the year ending December 31st, 2021, as compared to only 135,000 per year, sorry, for the year 2022. Mr. Kangwa said, unaccounted for funds also reduced from 83 million kwacha to 388,000. Firstly, sir, it is not 100%. It has not reduced <laughs> to zero. Because if you see the difference in the figures there, let me show you. Do you see that? 135, uh, or rather 5 million divided by, which one is dividing the other? 135 divided by 5 million by 100 gives you 2.7%. So, no. It is has this not, the right mathematics issue? I, I'm really... <laughs> 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 you know, I was trying to do one of those equations. They say if you, if you, if you smoke, if you smoke and you you buy one cigarette every day, and it's um, a packet of cigarettes. Is, how much is a packet of cigarettes? Let's say let's say it's twenty kwacha. I'm not yeah, too sure. It's about yeah, it's about twenty. <laughs> uh, you seem to know too much about this subject. <laughs> yeah, we do. We know. <laughs> so anyway, if a pack of cigarettes costs let's say twenty kwacha, and you buy one pack of cigarettes uh, per week. That's uh, 20 times 7, which gives you 140. Then you multiply that by 365. Keep smoking your Lamborghini away. You know, since such mathematics. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is basically what we're doing here. Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, what, what are your thoughts on, on the home misappropriation of funds? Yeah, so the, the new uh, Auditor General's report, of course, I didn't see it. Yeah. But, uh, I've, of course, we have the information like this from the yeah. Secretary of the Cabinet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. Actually, I think it's true that this is tremendous. Mm. Yeah, this is actually unprecedented. And uh, I hope that we can keep going like this. And, uh, you know, the, the but are problem... But are we seeing this practically being done? What I mean is, what, what significant changes are we actually seeing mm -hmm. in how... I mean, it was quite evident before that mm -hmm. they are misappropriating funds. Mm -hmm. What evidence do we have? Do you, do you think we have evidence for this change? I mean, are the, no, no, are the ministers driving any different? Are they, what's different? No, actually, because this misappropriation has actually got nothing to do with uh, the vehicles that ministers have been driven in. Okay, maybe so, maybe that's what I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. so I believe this misappropriation is uh, uh, money that was, let's say you have been given money as a government institution. Yeah. Then uh, instead of uh, taking that money, let's say you are told this money is supposed to be used to buy books. And then instead of buying books, you buy chairs. I believe that's a misappropriation we're talking ah. about. Yeah, because what comes in is that uh, you say that you bought chairs. You know, you actually didn't buy those chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Then the money goes missing. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that's the misappropriation we're talking about. Does the money really go missing? <laughs> or can we locate it? <laughs> Find out now. We on it. Amazing Mind. <laughs> uh, we can locate it. Every Mondays, Wednesdays. <laughs> And, and Fridays, Fridays. <laughs> 20 hours Central African time. Zambia's first late night show. Yeah. Yeah. So misappropriation of funds. Uh, well, we have much, I guess the most important part of any economic development is the quantity, is the qualitative 
how is it directly affecting the quality of people's lives? Because yeah. numbers are good on paper. I mm-hmm. mean, you can talk about how your your inflation has gone from d- double digit to a single digit while people are still spending the same amount of money. Yeah, now it's back in double digit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. And I mean, the, the challenge is that these things never seem to reflect on the quality of people's lives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They always end at the number stage. So we would like to see that translated from the quantitative economics to the qualitative economics. So we can have, what do they call them? Oh, you never took economics. Eh? I, it, was one of my, <laughs> it was one of my subjects in uni. We, we called it uh, utility. Utility is the enjoyment you get from products and services. I hope I got that correct. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, in other news, uh, Will Smith and Jada. Apparently, Jada Pinkett has never met Will Smith before. <laughs> <laughs> have you been following this news? Uh, yeah, I saw some uh, some jokes around. I know she's, uh, Jada Pinkett has uh, done a book. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Worthy. Worthy. Yeah. And uh, she talks about the relationship with the husband quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I might not know everything, did, but she's also she been giving glorify, interviews. Did she glorify Tupac again? Yeah, she did. She did, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And uh, anyway. I bet she used to tell him, I just married you because Tupac died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but Jada was with Will Smith while Tupac was alive, right? Yeah, I think so. She actually mentions in the book that um, uh, Tupac asked to marry her, asked uh-huh. to marry him. Tupac like, asked her to marry Tupac him. Tupac proposed marriage. Asked for a hand in marriage. Yeah. He found while a flower in the in garden. Prison. Huh? He found a flower in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> while he was he? in prison. Oh. She said that on one of the interviews that she gives about the book. And she said no. Well, I can't really remember what happened afterwards. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there's an interview actually about that. I, I saw her breaking remember. down on an interview, saying it was so painful to see him like that when he was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that too. Yeah. So yeah, when when he slapped uh, when he slapped the the guy the Chris Rock. Chris, no, no, no. She was talking about Tupac when she went to visit him in in. Oh okay. W- when he was in jail. Okay. She, so she was talking about how she hated seeing him in that situation, okay. and she was crying about it. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. But but uh, we, it was interesting what she said about Will Smith slapping. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Generally, you know what I think about this relationship from what we see. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think the guy is in a bad relationship. So to say. <laughs> Well, they're divorced now. They've been divorced for the past seven years, actually. They have not been divorced. They're still legally married. That's what she says. She says... Um, but they've not met because they, they, they don't meet, usually. Yeah, she says... Okay, check this out. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper. Right. But it was a divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a divorce on paper. It's not a divorce on paper, but it's a divorce in her heart. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in her heart, she, uh, she has already left the... Uh, yeah. the By the way, these are great people I should mention. Jada Pinkett. Oh, you mean we're, we're on the children? Yeah, yeah, they're great. No, I'm not talking about... <laughs> Anyway, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm talking about Jada and Will Smith. Yeah, Jada, I think she's she's a great person. She's done some great yeah, works. Yeah, I bet the yeah. Lord loves her. So anyway, yeah. Will um, Smith. Will Smith is actually bigger than Jada Pinkett. Uh, fame, and I fame actually wise, think right? that. Uh, yeah, money wise, fame wise, he's any he's, any any wise. He's bigger. I mean, he became a rapper because he wanted to impress her. <laughs> I mean, Tupac was a rapper. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Will Smith has done a lot of work, and especially when it comes to the the movies, because I'm a movie fan, so. Yeah, I believe Will Smith has done a lot of great work. Yeah. And you can even, like, uh, I don't know if you saw Emancipation. Emancipation? No. no yeah. <clears throat> so he actually won an award for, for Emancipation at the Oscars, actually. Oh, the same? Oh, the that's same the award Oscar. he was... Yes, yes. Now you can see that that was overshadowed. Yeah. Yeah, because ah, I'm... Look, uh, now I don't know that. You see? <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure that if people knew that, some people probably would have gone to see that movie. And it's a very rich movie. It's, it's, it's based on a true story, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to advertise it, but it's a good movie, and it just showcases uh, some of the great work that Will Smith has done. So, yeah. but you know, he's not perfect. He's a man. He goes through stuff. I've seen his movie um, Concussion. 
Mm-hmm. He I've talks about yeah. yeah. I think that's a great movie. Mm-hmm. I've seen a number of his movies. He's a great he's a great actor. Yeah, he was I, playing I like how he can Kukashi, switch. Right? Yeah. yeah. I like how he can switch from action to comedy to drama to Yeah. He can he can play almost anything. I I watched Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Okay. The the whole mm-hmm. six seasons. Was it six or seven seasons? I watched it maybe five times mm-hmm. when I was in uni. Um I like the guy. I think he could have handled the Chris Rock arrangement better but this Me situation too. Too. brings a bit more to light because Jada Pinkett we don't know if she's telling the truth allegedly uh Chris Rock had heard that they were on separation and he asked her out prior to that so So did Will like, Smith know about that? Uh apparently. And that, well, after, before he slapped him. Yes and so the slapping was ah okay. as a result of him knowing that okay. according to Jada supposedly okay. yeah but you know the as i said he's just a human being so there are a lot of stuff wonder why he didn't happen. slap august <laughs> yeah that was the guy to slap yeah that was the guy to slap <laughs> no i'm not encouraging anyone to slap anyone please <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you should be slapping is that subscription button exactly and, and that notification, notification bell, bell. Yep. yeah yeah but also I, i'm saying these things because all this drama to me it's really unnecessary yeah, yeah it wasn't supposed to happen like this and it just really just puts a uh, a dent in a good name yeah or should i say in good names i mean look at the work of putting these mm. guys these guys have put in so even jada pinkett herself all the way from was it the matrix mm-hmm. she she was in the matrix right yeah. yeah all the way from the matrix to i mean they've put in so much work to destroy your name over anyway i guess people get blinded by uh you know fame yeah All right, in other news, a couple of Malawi has been denied leave has been denied to leave Zambia for the United States of America on suspicions of trafficking three children. Chikombewe and his wife Gentile Gima Giramata. Wow. Mm. Together with his stepchildren aged 11, 8 and 5 were intercepted at the airport while they were on their way to the USA. Uh, Department of Public Relations officer Namati Ishinka Say the people were also in the company of a Rwandese woman identified as Jolly Nyosenga. Mr. Nshinka said the family entered Zambia on the 29th September this year through the Mwami Nchinji one stop border post. First question, why are Malawians trying to go to the US through Zambia? That's that's crazy to me. Yeah, and you know <coughs> I think this was just uh, written on the wall that these guys are trafficking. <laughs> yeah. It it was quite obvious especially with the Rwandese association not to say anything about it. <laughs> right. for yeah, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, anyway, in my defense, <laughs> we've heard of a lot of stories of containers being found. Did you hear of a container that was found uh, near the airport with a couple of dead Rwandese people? Couple? Uh, uh a couple of a couple of them, uh, a number of them. I think there were about 18. 18. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, of course we heard that story. Yeah, because But those those Rwandese were not Rwandese. Trans- uh, those weren't Rwandese. No, those should be Somalis or something. Are you sure? Or Ethiopians, yeah. Yeah, but we hear stories from that group of countries, not so, yeah, yeah. because I, I know I've heard stories of of Rwandese as well. There was one particular one. Are you sure it wasn't Rwandese? No, they, they found actually they found them in a in a tanker. <laughs> That's how it they was, have been transported. It was actually a tanker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh there's there's a lot of stories of how these people get into the country. But we also do understand the conditions in their country. Are you aware that when you're in Rwanda, you can't own the shops that they own here, they can't own there. All right, that's true. Yeah, because I mean there are conditions like in Rwanda you can't wear slippers when you're in town. You have to be dressed in shoes. You can't I didn't know that. You'll be arrested. You can't throw a litter in town. You'll be arrested. It's serious there. If you sell second hand phones or rather Chinese phones, second grade phones, mm. they seize them at the airport or the border and burn them. If you're not making up to a certain economic status, they ship you to the village. So <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, so that's why Rwanda is the country it is. Okay, but that's not a great thing. Uh well maybe they like it. No, I don't think so. Oh that's why they're in Zambia. Yeah anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, but also you know that uh, a lot of these people that we call Rwandese they came in uh, 94 right after the genocide. Oh really? Yes. A lot of them. Yeah a lot of them. 
Mm. And we have them around. I don't know if people know this, but we have them in Chipata. We have them in Ndola. We have <laughs> them in Solwezi. They always see them in the in the neighborhoods with their shops. We have them in Malawi. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So wow. these people have been here and... Uh, to me, I feel like uh, anyway. Anyway, I don't, I don't have immigration I don't have anything everywhere. against them. I just feel like Zambia's immigration policies, as you are saying, mm. uh, are are quite weak. Speaking of Malawi, mm -hmm. uh, you have some interest in this issue, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. By the way, it's not Mchinji. What is it's it? Mchinji. Mchin Mchinji. Exactly. I know you see an M there. That's how we pronounce it. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> How do you pronounce Munyenyembe? You should hear Siri say it. Yeah, so they the the they are typical Malawans who would say Nyenyembe. Without the M. No, without the M. Like okay, it's 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 spelled with an M. And actually some people have evolved it. It's M N. Not Nye M U N. Oh, so it's Mnyenyembe. Yes. Mm. But uh, most of them will just pronounce it as Nyenyembe. Nyenyembe. Especially the Chewas, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if they are talking about uh, they will say anyenyembe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever live in Malawi? Although it doesn't sound good. Anyenyembe. Did you at any point ever stay in Malawi, like with family, not not the trips you've taken there alone? No. Or never. Do you have any relatives there? Well, it's it's hard for me to say there are no relatives. Of course, there are, there are a lot of people. There. <laughs> yeah. Hoping no immigration officer is watching Amazing Minds. <laughs> Uh, let me just say there are a lot of people in Malawi who are in my bloodline. What color is Why do I need to say this again? I'm very Zambian. <laughs> what, Fully Zambian. What color is your inner see? <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Is that pink? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of the questions they ask? You know, these immigration guys are very funny. Have you heard the questions they ask Congolese when they know for sure this is a Congolese, mm -hmm. but they're just trying to catch him? Mm -hmm. They ask questions like, Yo, don't turn the bunch. The Munyanja boss. Munyanja Wakut. Wakch Pata boss. Yeah. Yeah, they do have tricks. I've encountered them a lot. They're they are on this road. Uh, actually, yes, uh, they are on this road. Actually, yes, because they try to trap people from uh, uh, Congo. Yeah. So there are a lot. There are a lot of immigration officers in the. Uh, what road is this? Ndola. Great, Lusaka Ndola. Um, Great North. Yeah. Not Great not really Great North, but mm -hmm. Lusaka Ndola. Because Great North is something else, right? No, no, it, it is Great North. Great North is the road that goes to Northern Province. No, but the the one you know, like starting from what you call Kabwe Road. Yeah, so that's, it, that's Great North. Yes, it's it's no, it's connected. Ah, it mm. actually is Great North, bro. That's why there is Great North Road Academy. No, <laughs> it's Great North because it goes to join Great North Road. So not, they call the whole thing that, Great North. Road. Not that. If you want, you can call it Lusaka Ndola. I know they call the second dollar dual carriage. No, but this is the new thing that they are making. Oh, that's the new dual carriage is the new. Yeah, yeah <laughs> because that road it goes straight up to Ndola. Yeah, and then it branches off and goes and joins the Great North Road. I think it branches off at some like period or something. I, are you sure of this? Have you moved around? I have. I actually stayed off Great North Road at some point. No, you're talking about Great North Road in Lusaka. Yeah, which road are you talking about? It's the same one. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is that. Uh, it's it joins Great North Road, so people can call it Great North Road from Kabwe. Okay, so about. where does it where does but it become Great North Road? To me, it becomes Great North Road when it branches off at Kapiri. At Kapiri, yeah. Ah, but there yeah, I could be wrong. Oh, when it branches, uh, actually, when I was going to Mukoshe, I remember there was this mm -hmm. this branching off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, uh, no, I, I could I've be been wrong. To, I've been to many places actually. Kapiri, I've been I've been to Serenje along. Great North Road. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I've been, I've just passed through those areas, but I can't really remember. But I've, I I've been, went to I've been to Ndola a lot of times. On Ndola? Yeah. Yeah. Cool place. Quiet. Ndola is like the, um, the Kamwala South. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of, of, of the Copper Belt. Yeah, actually, my mother was born in Ndola. Grew up in Ndola. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you stay in Ndola for a while? No, 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 no never. Okay. Of course, when I just go there, I visit and what, 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 yeah. But I've never really lived there. 
I've never lived anywhere else. Apart from Lusaka. <laughs> yeah. And Malawi. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that <laughs> notification bell and share. We are uh, leaving now. And we'll see you on Wednesday. We'll be here with another historical segment on the Republic of Zambia uh, with Mr. Chofaya Nyenyembe as Siri. I would really like to hear how Siri would say your last name. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, are you trying to make Siri in South? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right. Check you out. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.